Yo, yo, people, Garrett Jun here for another video. So, guys, this video is going to be in Farming Story 19. And today, we are going to be starting a luxury dealership. Now, if you're wondering where we are, this is the Nebraska Lands map. If I fly up, you'll probably recognize the landscape because we've been on here many times before. This is the save game where we've built a bunch of different series, like our fire department series started on this map. We have a towing yard, a plaza, this housing complex, a forest, mansions, a bunch of other stuff. It's been a crazy, crazy journey getting this landscape transformed because it all started as just farmland. But anyways, so we worked on this a while ago. We built this up. I think it looks amazing. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out but it's time to actually add some functionality. So we're gonna be grabbing some vehicles. Now I'm using my Chevy Silverado just at the start here. This is the 4500 HD. We are gonna drive us over to pick up a car trailer because we're gonna be moving a lot of vehicles today and it would just not make sense to have like a small PJ trailer or anything like that. It would only hold what, two or three cars max. So the one we're gonna be picking up though, it's a truck trailer combo and I believe it holds like eight cars or somewhere around there this is made by lambo and winston so very very cool where should i park uh, i guess we can use one of these parking spots I, I love this truck because i can just drive over anything look at that it's bigger than a speed bump so anyways yeah here it is very very cool i got it in white for the truck the peterbilt truck and then the framing is all blacked out it's kind of like this glossy metallic material so yeah, we can turn this bad boy on and head on over to the actual vehicles. So yeah, there is the shop over there. It says Case IH, but this is a multi-purpose shop. It just the front of it is all decked out in their logos and tractors and all that. Okay, so let's turn on in here. There we go. Is the trailer going to make it? Yeah, okay. We definitely got to take some wide turns here. So yeah, we have seven vehicles we're going to be transporting. I said eight earlier. We were close enough, right? <laughs> All right, guys, I brought the truck around. Let's detach from the trailer because we first have to load the front portion. So this should be really, really cool. This is something we don't often get to do because honestly, to my knowledge, this is the only mod that actually works in this way. We're going to have to start off by lowering down the top and then let's bring out the ramps. There we go. And I'll turn off the truck just for now. You can hop on out. So I think the first vehicle we're going to load on up is this Mercedes. I believe this is an S500. I know it got a V8 engine because it kind of says it right there. But let's hop on in, turn on the engine. And this is how the interior looks for anyone wondering. It's very, very cool. I believe Edwards Modding made this. I'll try linking it down below. That goes actually with all these mods. I'm going to try linking as many as I can. But some of these I've had for a very long time and I'm not quite sure where I actually got them from. There also is a chance that some of these are private. So obviously I can't link those, but I will do the best I can. All right, so this might be a bit of a tight fit. Let's just see how we can do. It's not gonna be perfect with the collisions, but it's the best we got. Here we go. Oh yeah, that actually went on pretty smoothly. Very, very happy to see that. And okay, is that too far forward? Okay, let's just back it up a little bit there we go and then let's grab the next vehicle but before we do that here's a message from our sponsor join lambo mods patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations you will get early access to lambo winston and beard shots awesome ideas on top of all that you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools join today using the link below all right so the next vehicle we're gonna be moving is this bentley now this is a bentley continental i believe it looks stunning this is a very expensive vehicle look at this guys I, I i can't believe we are even sitting in this and this is farming simulator do remember so the fact we have a mod that looks this high quality in the game is just i don't know it's mind-blowing to me the vehicles by default don't look this good but we'll turn the bad boy on and let's drive this thing onto our truck. Here we go. Ooh, it has a lot of speed. I did not expect that. Okay. I guess when you're paying this much for a vehicle, it makes sense it has a decent engine. Let's leave it there for now. We can always drive it a bit forward or backwards if needed once we raise this up. So speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that. And luckily, we can just use our mouse so we can 
very, very slowly raise it up. All right, and the next vehicle is going to be this Ferrari 488. If I am wrong about the name, my apologies. But I obviously had to get it in red because, well, what Ferrari isn't red? <laughs> And here's how the interior looks. It is very, very nice, really premium. I think that's pretty much for all the vehicles we're moving today though, just because these are luxury vehicles and all. But we will drive this onto the truck. This is the only vehicle that's gonna be in the lower portion. So let's make sure to get it on there correctly. All right, there we go. Just drive it forward, inch it nice and slow. Now, due to the way the game is, our mirrors might look like they're going through the walls. Just ignore that though. My apologies. There we go. Yeah, once it's actually on here, it does fit quite nicely. So yeah, what we can do is bring in the ramps. There we go. And turn on the truck. All right, so this Peterbilt, it's definitely feeling the weight. Hopefully, once we get the trailer attached and filled up too, it's going to kind of balance everything better. Because, yeah, right now, it is really top-heavy. There's nothing putting force on the back at all. All right, so we attached on up. Now, can I drive this around just so it's in a bit of a better position? I'm gonna quickly try that. All right, there we go. Just moving it on through. Watch those vehicles. Definitely don't wanna hit them. <laughs> All right, and the next vehicle we're gonna be loading up is this Royal Royce Wrath. Very hard to say that name, but it's the Royal Royce. This vehicle is pretty much the definition of the word expensive. I don't know how much it costs in your life, but yeah, it, it's, it's a pretty penny to say the very least. Can turn on the engine though and load it up. We're gonna move this to the top part of the trailer. And I'm thinking we'll move it just right to the end. So here we go. Nice and slow. By the way, here's how the interior looks on this mod. Now we are kind of on a slant, so that's why it looks like we are so short right now. So yeah, let's just bring it forward. There we go. And how are we looking? Uh yeah, that's pretty centered. Probably can move it over just a smidge. There we go. That would be a lot better. Turn it off and let's grab the next vehicle. And obviously guys, we gotta grab a GTR. This is a little bit cheaper, but still, still expensive to say the very least. Honestly, I always forget that the GTR is made by Nissan. I don't know why, but my brain just never remembers that. Actually, fun fact, my dad has a Nissan. I'm not quite sure exactly which one. It's a bit older, but yeah, not, not a GTR, I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> But okay, that should be pretty good. We can turn it off, hop on out, and raise up the trailer because we gotta load some vehicles underneath. Yeah guys, so this next vehicle is actually also made by Lambo Mods. This is a Shelby Cobra, I believe. Sorry if I did say that wrong. I'm very bad at pronouncing car names if you couldn't tell. But yeah, this is a bit older, so the interior is a lot more simplistic. Very, very nice, even with that being said. Love that wooden wheel. You don't see that every day. And you have your switches instead of knobs. Very, very cool. I actually, I wonder if this is like a racing vehicle. Because I kind of get that impression. Hey guys, so I just opened up the buy menu and I was right. It, you can definitely race this thing. If you look at the speed and horsepower and everything, it is crazy. 108 miles per hour it says it can get up to. Which is awesome. I... Yeah, I honestly don't know if I've ever even been that fast because I use kilometers where I live. If you didn't know, I'm Canadian. So yeah, the conversion and everything, I don't think though I've ever been at that fast of a speed. Yeah, so let's drive this vehicle on here. Now this one is one of the harder ones to do because you have to get it so far back. But luckily, this mod was made very, very well. So yeah, the trailer works perfectly. We got the vehicle on there. Again, this vehicle, that we were just driving, the Shelby Cobra, and the trailer truck combo made by Lambo and Winston. You guys can get this on the Patreon page. They're also a sponsor for this video, as you guys saw in the sponsored clip. So yeah, very, very cool. And the final vehicle we will be transporting is this Corvette. Now this is, I believe, a C3 from 1971. 1971, like what? That is so old. It's pretty much ancient at this point. But if you hop inside, you can see that even with that being said, it is still stunning. Like, you can tell it's a bit older. For example, the passenger side has those weird pockets on the dash. I don't know what that's supposed to be for. I don't know. Let, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. I personally love this. I would dream to have a vehicle like this in your life. 
So yeah, guys, this thing is an absolute beauty. Let's go ahead though, load it on to the trailer. Yeah, we are sitting in this a little bit odd, but no biggie. This was definitely not designed for farming simulator in the first place. Load this thing on here nice and slow. How are we looking on that side? Okay, probably could shift over just a little bit. Don't want to scratch anything. And we got to watch out because there is obviously the Shelby in front of us. But I think that's good. So we should now be able to fold up that back ramp and get driving. All right, let's get moving here. There we go. Going to be having to take these turns very, very wide. And just keep in mind this vehicle load costs more than a house so yeah we're, we're going to be driving extra careful because of that i do not want to mess anything up at all so yeah let's watch for traffic seem to be good okay take this turn nice and wide here we go watch that mailbox okay i don't think we can really go Ooh, we actually are gonna hit the fence if we keep going so let's try backing up a little any vehicles coming no okay we look to be good there we go. Nicely done. It's all about the recovery. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let's look forward now. Make sure we aren't going to be hitting anything in front of us. And I'll actually hop in first person because this truck is obviously a Peterbilt, which means it has a nice Peterbilt interior. And one of my favorite features of Peterbilts like this is right over there. Do you see the bottom window? It lets you see a whole area that's usually one of your blind spots. Yeah, so we are just driving over to the dealership. Not too far at all. There we go. We'll just pull on in right over here on the left. Now you can probably even tell yourself that the vehicle is still top heavy. When we make these turns, you see it does wobble a little, but it is staying on there. So that's what matters the most. Okay, we are here. Let's open up the door. There we go. Actually, I'm going to turn on the lights in here too. There we go. Nice and bright now. So yeah, here we are just backing it on up. I'm going to leave this probably at the front because it's just, I don't know, it's such a nice vehicle. Is that a good spot or do you guys think it should be in the display windows? I'm thinking we should have a more modern vehicle in, in the display windows just in case someone is coming and they aren't really looking for one of those older classics. But yeah, guys, now it's time to unload the Shelby. Here we go. Now, I got the trailer a little bit dirty, but the vehicles seem to all be clean now. That's the main thing that matters, and if they do get dirty, we can always get a hose and just clean them up that way. But not ideal, because it does ruin the polish just a bit. Yeah, okay, let's leave this one right there. Awesome. We have the next vehicle, so we're going to now have to lower down so we can grab the GTR off of here. All right, there we go. So dropping down. Let's hop on in this red beauty. There we go. Turn on the engine and back this thing up. Did I even show you guys the interior? I, I feel like I didn't. If I forgot to, my apologies. Here is how it looks. It is awesome. Another one of those vehicles just just so amazing. Yeah, no, it's, it's just such a great vehicle. They run amazing. I know that they actually have a long last life too for how far they can go. Like people don't often run into issues due to age. Now, I guess these vehicles aren't really that old too. I don't know when the first GTR is made, but I can't imagine it was more than 10 years ago. That would that would be surprising. All right, guys, let's get the Rolls Royce off of this trailer. Here we go. Nice and slow. Do not want to scratch up this thing. But I actually want to tell you guys a quick little story. Now, this story happened probably, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. I was a lot younger, but it's a good story, guys, okay? So, I have a family friend, uh, actually my godfather. He used to own a limo company, and one of the limos was a Rolls Royce limo. So, it obviously was going to be driving around some celebrities or some, some people who have a lot of money. That limo specifically drove around the Queen, Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez, and probably a bunch of other celebrities too. I'm not quite sure about the full list, but I know at least those three. Now here's the interesting thing. That limo, the Rolls Royce limo, by just the name itself, you can obviously tell it's valuable. Plus all that that one went through, like I don't even know how much it would resell for. But that limo 
crashed into my grandfather's old, I believe it was like a Toyota or something like that, a cheap, cheap vehicle, one that it, it saw its life already. Like it had, I believe the air conditioning was out on the vehicle and a bunch of other stuff. It barely drove. It had something like 250,000 kilometers. It, it saw its life. But yeah, that got crashed when parked because the Royal Royce had the brakes malfunction in my driveway. Unfortunately, that Royal Royce had, I don't even know how much damage to it. Like, it wasn't a hard hit, but no matter what, if you're scraping across a vehicle with something that expensive with that good of a finish, it's going to be pricey to repair. So, yeah. That had to get fixed and everything, and I don't even know if the Toyota ever got fixed. We don't have it anymore. It was, again, super old, not not worth maintaining at all. Like, it was going to stop driving any day. But yeah, so that's my story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I've actually I only think told that story a handful of times, and I don't believe ever on YouTube. So there you go. All right, let's get this Bentley off of here. There we go. This is so fast. I know I said that at the beginning, but it still surprised me. I think they might have went a little bit crazy with the engine on this thing. I don't know if it would actually have this much torque in real life. Here we go. We'll just position it right over there and grab the final vehicle. What, what do we have left? The Mercedes, I believe. Yep, it's the Mercedes. Here we go. So yeah, this one, I don't know. I am classifying it as a luxury car. It is very expensive, but... It obviously isn't as much as some of the other ones we were moving here today. For example, the Royal Rory or the Corvette or anything like that. I'm pretty sure the Mercedes is valued quite a lot under that. Okay, we'll park it up right over here. And that should be good. Okay, so we got all of our vehicles in here. We have five of them in this showroom. And then we also have in these side areas, what's this, uh, the GTR? very very cool i love the way the sun's hitting it that looks awesome and on the other side i believe is the corvette let's quickly double check that one. Oh yeah very very nice definitely want to get some lights up there though i don't know why we don't have those already so hopefully we can get those added at some point but yeah guys thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy it please drop a like on it and consider subscribing we now are getting closer and closer to 32,000 subscribers, which is insane to say. So thank you guys so much for that. Another thing I want to say is we hit 2,500 members on the Discord server. If you guys want to join, you can find the link for that down below. It's completely free. I really recommend you join it because you can stay updated on when videos are coming out or live streams. Like That's literally the first place I update with any channel-related information. And there's also like an advertising chat if you want to advertise anything. And you guys can also be notified when videos go out if you go to the Get Notified World channel. But it is completely optional. So if you don't want to be pinged every day, you don't have to be. Yeah, and guys, the other links in the description. You guys can find lots of the mods used in this video. I'll try linking as many as I can. Again, I do apologize if they aren't all down there because there's so many different mods here. I already told you guys all about that at the beginning. You can also find our Twitter Instagram, merchandise, Patreon page, and website in the description, along with our Minecraft server IP too. If you happen to play Minecraft, feel free to join. You guys are awesome. Bye bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.